Hi everybody, it's Danny here and I've got another TechFix video for you. In this video I want to take a look at how you make a branching database and I'm going to look at the Just Too Easy J2E branch software to do that. Now this is particularly useful if you're following the Teach Computing uh, course uh, for year three, uh, data and information branching databases. You can see the unit is here, and there are lessons on sort of going through how to make a branching database, creating one, structuring one, and so on. So, one of the tools that's recommended is the J2E branch tool. So, I'll show you how to use that. So, I'm going to switch to so I'm going to switch to J2E branch uh, here. So, I'm going to start with the template. I'm just going to pick a a standard template, I'm just going to pick the beach template because that's what is offering me here. And I'll make a very simple database looking at uh, vertebrates, simple animals. So on the left hand side, you can see I've got different categories of images to choose from. I'm going to click on animals and I'm going to put in a lion, I'm going to put in a bird, I need a lizard, and I need uh, an amphibian, and we need a fish as well to finish off. So let's put in there a fish. So I've got my five things there that I want to classify. So let's start by clicking down on the sort button and it will give me a space here for my question. So let's start with um, can it breathe underwater and you drag down the yeses to where the thumbs up is and you drag down the noes to where the thumbs down is. So the fish can breathe underwater and the other four can't breathe underwater. So then we say OK, and it will keep the four that I now have left and a question to sort those. So the question for this one might be, um, does it lay eggs? The mammal is a no, and the other three are a yes, like so, and say OK. And the next question might be, um, does it have wings? And again, the bird would be yes, and the amphibian and the reptile would be no. And our final question might be, um, does it have dry, scaly skin? And we'll drag down the frog for no, and the lizard for yes. And then we say OK. And that then shows you your completed uh, branching key, your branching database, um, and then if you want to play it, maybe you could give the children some cards with the animals on, and then we're thinking of an animal, we click on play, and we start with the first question, so can it breathe underwater, yes or no, if we say no, it'll ask us another question, if we say yes, yeah, it'll take us down the question, eventually you'll end up with one where the answer will be just one thing, it'll show you what it is then, there's our bird, is that correct, yes, so we work our way through the branching database like that. So particularly useful for teaching that aspect of the computing curriculum. You might also bring this into uh, maths, you might also bring it into science for classifying leaves or classifying animals, but you could have completely random topics, you know, classifying Pokemon or classifying biscuits. Uh, I do a thing with liquid short sorts as well, where you can just have some different things and then you lead into how uh, scientists would use it to classify animals. So the J2E is uh, available online. I'll put the address at the bottom of the screen here and I'll put it in the, the YouTube links as well if you want to, to click on that to have a play. Um, very easy to use, see what you think. Um, there are other tools as well. I'll do another video showing how to use Purple Mash um, to question as well, which is pretty good. Thank you very much for your time. Please remember to like and subscribe to get more of these videos. Any questions, please get in touch. Thanks again. Cheers. Bye-bye.